So this is the last of your art lessons to do with Henry Moore uh, shelter artwork. And um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I really loved seeing all the work that you've sent through and hope you've experienced a very different type of drawing. And also you've had to really push yourself. I know some of the feedback I've had is some of the children found it quite tricky and they've really persevered. And the results as a result of that have been absolutely fantastic. Um, so the last lesson, which I'm going to share with you today, is all down to you, really. The objectives um, of today is to create an artwork that creates mood and atmosphere. So that is really, really critical. Whatever you produce today, I want you to create mood and atmosphere um, that people would have felt if they were down in the world, um, in the shelters in the underground in World War II. But before I tell you what you're actually going to do, I just want to recap on what you've done so far. So it's really important with art if you think about it as a creative journey. In fact, most of your learning is in fact a creative journey. But specifically in art, you've done lots of different things building up to this point where you're now going to produce your final piece of work. So let's just recap on what they are. You've explored Henry Moore's artwork. You've looked at him as an artist, you looked at him as a sculptor and also as a, a drawer and you've kind of thought about what it is that you enjoy about his work and really got familiarized yourself with him because that will influence your final piece. You've looked at drawing those potatoes and about how to give your drawing real form and weight because remember when you're drawing you're, you're using a two-dimensional um, process of drawing to create this image of a three-dimensional object so that is um, a fantastic skill. Um, you have experimented with different drawing materials. Some of you have gone really gone for it and used coffee and tea and that's really fabulous. You've used um, tone and contours when you've given those curves over those bodies to make them feel that they're round with blankets and they're uh, uh, snuggled around them or they're huddling together and you've also used a lot of tone in your shadows to make sure you are what I've said is about weighting your um, figures so they don't look like they're floating on the page. These are all fantastic skills. You've also um, played around with looking at composition, how you position things within the page and your perspective to get this idea of space within, again, this two-dimensional flat surface of your artwork. And the final thing you did last week is you used a bit of photography to help you plan your final piece of work. So hopefully you got those compositions of um, two people huddling together and that really helped you think about your composition for today. So I thought we'd have a, a small gallery of work that has been submitted, which is lovely. So the Henry Moore work, working with materials, looking at the coffee and the tea and getting this idea of um, form with the shadow, making sure that potato actually looks like some monumental sculpture. You've looked at perspective going away here with the and using the curved lines to make them feel like they're the tube. And this wonderful um, image down here, again, of perspective and using the whole shape of it curving in to um, give you this idea of the tube with lots of lovely tonal work. Here, perspective going on, and it's really, really important, this idea of mark making to build that atmosphere up. I really want to see that in this final piece of work and how um, the artist here has used contour lines to show that those blankets are curved around the figures. And the same here, so you can see that you can see the legs coming through underneath this two figures huddling. So that's lovely. But really, today is over to you. Now, this is really, really important. What you're going to be doing, you're going to be doing, bringing all those different six elements together of your creative journey that you've taken. And you're going to be creating your own composition of huddled figures. And I want you to, as I said before, make sure that you build by using color and texture and mark making and perspective. You really build that atmosphere up. Now, Take your time with this artwork. Don't feel you have to get it done really quickly. Um, do persevere. You might not necessarily get it done today. You might want to do, um, if you're doing it on Thursday, you might want to decide um, to do it on, carry on with Flexible Friday. And I would also plan your ideas. 
think about maybe just doing small little thumbnail sketches to get your composition think about perspective if you're going to put any in um, think about do you remember when you did those lines last week about this idea of structural pull getting the eye um, the viewer's eye through the artwork and I want you to also think about the materials going to use <clears throat> I think you should be really really inventive um, get those shadows in there to anchor them use the contour lines think about where you place the thing think about your um, your perspective but also think about getting that mark making so in terms of materials it's completely up to you and I think I'd like you to be quite inventive here you could use wax resist an old bit of candle or some um, crayons you have as we said before you could use tea and coffee if you do have any black watercolour or paints or brown paints at home you could do that pen black pen would be good um, you can draw with a feather draw with a stick remember you can still draw with paint it doesn't necessarily have to be painting just because paint's involved you can actually draw with it now you don't have to do this on white paper you could do it on an old brown paper bag or some old brown packaging some recycled cardboard it's up to you make it interesting make it your own but most important remember that objective has got to have the mood and the atmosphere of a um, second world war shelter and these figures huddling huddling together so this is my key message for you for today be inventive this is your piece of artwork take risks push the boundaries if it doesn't work does it matter no it doesn't no artist is actually ever going to develop if they don't really take risks. Be brave, try something different. Um, take your time. This is not a quick piece of artwork. This is you taking your time and enjoying it and really getting into the headspace that you need to do to create um, a piece of a masterpiece. If it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. Try something different. I have put on, and I know you've seen this before, two examples here of some children from last year, just in case you're stuck about knowing what to do, but you absolutely do not need to follow this. They've used some lovely techniques. You can see here the wax resist going in the background, lovely curved line texture to get that um, feel of the underground. This is a great one, this line going through here to get some perspective and to draw the kind of viewer's eye, as I call it, structural pull. They've used browns and greys and blacks and dark inky blues to get that atmosphere going. All things that you could do quite simply with very few resources at home. But I want this to be your artwork that you are proud of, that is your interpretation of all that creative journey you've been on. And I always say it, I always end with this, please share them. It's been an absolute joy. It's honestly, it's been a complete joy to see the artwork you've sent it through. So please do that. Um, and I will think of something cool for us to do next week. Don't you worry. <laughs>